So we are getting ready to leave the port. It's getting uh, lighter now. So at the moment the wind situation is much better. We had uh, strong gales over the last couple of days. So we expect five before out there. The currents are a little bit against us, but I think uh, after three hours it will change and then uh, they will uh, push us a little bit. So let's see how far we get. Bye bye Pekong. We are finally on our way after spending a week in Fécamp with a breakdown of the autopilot motor. The first delivery came on Monday but didn't reach me. Not quite sure how far we cruise, ideally to northern Spain or in Porto in Portugal. We will decide that uh, on our way. Six by four, speed through the water, 6.7, 6.6 knots, over ground 5.2, but the wind conditions are much better than yesterday. Yeah, it's uh, 3 p.m. We have uh, almost uh, 65 nautic miles behind. And it was a little bit rough uh, during the day. So we had six to seven before up to 30 knots uh, wind speed. The current uh, was uh, running with us, so we had uh, that support. Now we are at the point where it's uh, changing. And for the next six hours, uh, we have the current against us up to two and a half to three knots. Uh, fortunately, the wind is uh, now calming a little bit uh, down, so we have uh, 20 knots at the moment. So it's uh, going more into the direction of uh, 5 by 4 to 6 by 4. Uh, during the night, I expect that uh, we will pass the uh, English uh, Channel Islands. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I think I need a little bit more sail now. <laughs> We are cruising on the engine, sunset is not too far away, Cap de Lac is port side, so the currents are running uh, with us at the moment, so we are cruising with uh, 9.5 to 10 knots speed over ground. Unfortunately the wind died, so it's uh, just uh, 5 to 6 uh, knots wind, which is uh, not enough with that angle uh, to sail. Yeah, we cruise uh, between Elderney and Guernsey, so we leave uh, Elderney at uh, starboard and uh, Guernsey at uh, port side. 
I don't think I can uh, sleep for the next few hours uh, with that speed here between the islands. But uh, I guess afterwards it uh, will be a little bit calmer and then I uh, hope that I uh, will find some sleep. Yeah, we will see. Alter, nie jetzt Starboard ahead. Lucky us, we got a little bit more wind. So we put the Genoa out. At the moment the wind speed is reducing. About 10, 11 knots. Five and a half knots over ground, the speed. And a very calm cruise. Very enjoyable. nice breakfast and now we are going to enjoy the day fairly relaxed it's quite interesting how the Atlantic swell is coming into the English Channel that far only a little bit but uh, very nice we have about 85 nautical miles to the Ile d'Orso I do not know exactly if we can sail today it's a little bit uh, undefined how the wind uh, will be but as uh, more we are getting to the west, as higher the chances are that we probably get a, get a wind from the north, which we obviously would use uh, to sail. But nevertheless, we will enjoy the day. We have approximately 65 nautical miles to the Biscay Bay. Oh, it's running well. Yeah, it's late in the afternoon, it's time to cook dinner. I bought some uh, Philly steak, fecond, bought it with some uh, bacon, and that's uh, what I'm going to cook now. Of course, it's a little challenge under those conditions. So making the dishes is quite a challenge. So 
So the day is coming to an end. Sunset is not too far away. It was a very nice day with good sailing in the afternoon and a little bit calmer in the morning. So we are about two to three hours away from the Ile d'Orson and then afterwards we might have a chance uh, to set the sails and uh, sail south. Yeah, we need to see. I'm a little bit tired. The fresh air on sea. <laughs> I had a good rest in the afternoon, so I had uh, some sleep during the day as well. During the night I will do interval sleeping, 30 minutes, and then I need to get up, check everything. But I have all my devices in my cabin and can check uh, most things from there. Might get out uh, for setting the sails, but uh, we will see. That's how it looks here. 7.3 knots through the water and speed over ground is 7.6. Our course over ground is 240, 241 degrees. So we are approaching Ildo so and uh, we keep north-west uh, of it. So the wind at the moment, let's have a look at that. Of course, it, what we have at the moment, we can eventually expect the south of Ildo so as well. So wind speed around uh, nine knots and coming from the west. So if we have set then uh, definitely we'll set the sails. I guess we can can do four knots through the water with that. But let's see. Yeah my cabin here. I can check uh, most things uh, from here as well. So that's a waypoint uh, I set uh, in the chart and from there we go south. Obviously we are coming in a situation with uh, currents against us up to two knots. Yeah, we need to see. Dolphins are there. I was just going to bed and then I heard a strange noise and uh, went uh, into the cockpit and wanted to switch off the engine uh, to investigate uh, what's going on. But it, uh, it was the dolphins. Great. What a great feeling. And that's the first evening here. Wow, fantastic. Slowly I'm getting awake. <laughs> I need a couple of hours uh, to get really awake after the interval sleeping uh, during the night. But uh, fabulous uh, morning here. So I put the sails up. We have around uh, three before. Uh, west northwest, which is quite good. We are not uh, perfectly on uh, our course. Uh, we need uh, 210 degrees. I think at the moment we uh, sail a little bit uh, more southerly. But that's fine. We give the engine a little break. We also need to stretch the diesel a little bit because it's um, quite a journey to Spain and uh, Portugal. So I expect us here uh, roughly three days on uh, Biscay Bay. 
We had some dolphins uh, a few minutes ago. That was uh, quite exciting, second time now. And that is uh, Biscay Bay as well. So you see dolphins and if you're lucky you see whales. My memories on Biscay Bay are very good. I really like it here. I like the space that you can, can let it run for miles and miles and miles, 100 miles. There's no traffic separation <laughs> scheme. There are no wind parks, there are no boys. Traffic is uh, rather low. Ah, really good. Great. So I will enjoy the next uh, few days and uh, we keep it relaxed. Listen a little bit to the music, cook something. We have a good day. But now we switch on good music. I have speakers here in the cockpit as well. by very fast we have about 350 nautic miles behind and about 260 nautic miles to northern Spain yeah it was a nice day with dolphins sailing in between pretty good weather a whale blowing that was very nice yeah and hopefully we get some wind tomorrow at least it was a forecast one half days ago I expect that uh, we run on the engine during the night, but we will see. I, I take the sail in now and uh, then I go to bed. with the weather. Another beautiful morning here. I was assuming yesterday that uh, we need to run on the engine the whole night but then I was just uh, in my bed then a little bit uh, wind came up so I set both sails and then afterwards uh, we were too much uh, downwind so I had to take the main sail in. Not much speed around about uh, four knots. Now I'm looking forward to the breakfast Bread is baking down there. I prepared everything yesterday evening, but then I was uh, so tired at uh, six when I wanted to switch it on. So I forgot it and I, I slept 
in the intervals of 45 minutes, uh, sometimes one hour. Uh, but now it's switched on and uh, running. Batteries are fairly down because we sailed the whole night through and couldn't charge well, as accumulator. But I expect that they uh, go up soon because the uh, solar panels here are starting to deliver the power. During the night we have come a little bit more to the west and closer to the main ship line over there between North Spain and Brittany. So we have the ships around 10 miles away. Uh, the good thing is if something is happening here and need some help then I can, can call them. On the other hand I like to keep a little bit more distance uh, during the night because it uh, gives me a better feeling when I sleep. So what's up for today? Obviously sailing. It might be that we have to change from port side uh, to starboard because uh, wind might uh, turn a little bit uh, more and uh, hopefully will increase as well that uh, we have good speed. We have about 400 nautic miles behind and approximately 220 miles to North Spain. I haven't really decided uh, where the next stop will be. I definitely uh, want to be in Porto on Thursday to meet my partner Anke on Friday there. But uh, I don't want to arrive there during the night. So I need to see what uh, makes sense uh, for a stop. Could be Bayona, that we arrive uh, late afternoon in Bayona and then have a longer cruise next day to Porto. We are also dependent of the, of the tides. There's a difference uh, between low tide and high tide. I think it was two and a half meters, I need to check that. And then going up the river, so it's uh, important to be there at the right time. But we will see. Now I'm going to bed a little bit earlier and watch a movie on the iPad. Get a shower here outside. The advantage is I don't have to drive the little bathroom downstairs. Now we have about 450 nautic miles behind and coming closer to Spain. Traveling at the moment with four and a half to five knots over ground. Should be a good night. We'll see. Also not too bad with the sun. I've decided to take in the beam for the foresail because of the strong wind and the weather forecast two and a half days ago. Say it get even more. So we want to be on the safe side, switch the engine on to keep speed in the boat. Better taking it out now because the job won't get easier. Okay, let's get started.
Stück. Doesn't look cozy outside here. The wind is still blowing around 20 knots. Waves, two meters, yeah, eventually three. It's always difficult to estimate. It's overcast, a little bit cold today, not as good as the other few days. As we are coming closer to the Spanish coast now, we need to have a look on the chart and need to check what is the best option between here and uh, Porto, which is our final destination, if we want to have a stop in between or if we sail through. We have a look on the chart. So, let's have a look where we are and uh, what might be the best option. Initially, I wanted to cruise a little bit closer to the coast. But then this morning I changed my mind because of the current uh, wind conditions and we stay more away, getting close to the traffic uh, separation scheme and keep in water around uh, 1500 uh, meters depth. So let's have a look on the, on the currents here. Let's check the other corners. So the high water at the moment is expected to be at yeah, roughly 3 p.m. I think that means uh, Western European summer time. So we have almost uh, half past one and are 50 nautical miles north of the Spanish coast. And we have 70 miles to our waypoint uh, one. So we're cru cruising currently with five, five and a half uh, knots over ground. So we can expect to be at the waypoint roughly at 2 a.m. in the morning and then actually we have uh, two options we could either go to Bayona which is another 75 to 80 nautic miles if you assume five to five and a half uh, knots uh, over ground then we could be there late afternoon in the evening and the other option would be going down to Porto directly which is another 170 nautic uh, miles which means same assumptions, five knots, five and a half knots over ground. We would be there on Thursday, sometimes in the afternoon. Yeah, let's have a look on the cruising guide. It says uh, for entrance, the bar is dangerous in strong winds or when there is heavy swell. So we don't have that. According to the weather forecast, it should be quite calm. Yeah, pretty all right for for Thursday, not much wind. So uh, with a six or seven knot current on the spring app, which may be even stronger after rain. So let's check where we are at the moment. It's the moon. Yeah, so uh, no moon, uh, which means yes, I think we are on springtime. AIS target which is getting close to us. The Lighty Spirit, it's a tanker. It's a moment uh, 1.9 nautic miles away. Closest point of approach is 1.4, 1.3 nautic miles, and that is almost now. And the bearing is 208 degrees, so straight ahead. Yeah, no problem. I think we are good. So, yeah, let's have a look on the on the tide in Porto. So it says high tide at uh, 5:20 p.m. local time, which is uh, Western European summer time. Here on board, uh, we have Central European summer time. That means we need to add one hour. That means uh, we have the high tide our time. Yeah, 6 20 in the evening so arrival in the afternoon would work very well and also during the day would be a big advantage because it uh, says here in the cruising guide that there are a lot of uh, small fisher boats are uh, anchoring and it hardly needs saying that entry should only be attempted in daylight and settled weather i think we have settled weather that should work so that's the plan 
Yes, we could do by Yoda as well, but uh, I have a little bit of fear. Um, first of all, it's a, it's a longer cruise from there down here, 60 to 70 nautic miles, which means uh, we have to start very early. And if I stop there, I'm not sure if I'm getting out of my bed <laughs> early in the morning. I think I have a nice rhythm now. And it doesn't matter if we have uh, five or six nights here on sea. So I decide sailing through directly to Porto because it uh, works well with arrival time. So that is the plan. So yeah, we drive straight through to Porto. I think it's a good plan. We to reduce the sail and change it to port side because the wind speed increase up to 26 to 28 knots and the currents are pushing us to the east so we couldn't cruise our ideal course. Now we uh, keep more westerly and then later on uh, we might go more on a, on a southern course uh, uh, when appropriate. Yeah, seems to be an exciting day. And I just thought we cook something before it gets rougher and uh, can't be done. The wind speed is constantly increasing, but uh, we had changed course and uh, are sailing now more to the west, so we are getting a little bit away from the coast. Uh, we. Uh, across the 500 meter depth line and afterwards uh, also the wind speed is going up. Uh, the swell is uh, getting much better. Now we are very close to the 1000 meter depth line. I think it won't be that bad as we had it before. How it will be tonight? Well, I have no idea. Obviously during the day it's uh, much easier because you can see what's around you. During the night is special. Yeah, we need to see. Yeah, if it becomes too rough then uh, probably we go after Cap Finisterre closer to the coast and are a little bit protected uh, from the swell there. Yeah, Costa da Morte, as I said, is uh, quite famous. Will be quite interesting passing Costa da Morte during the night. We'll see. I'm a bit tired at the moment, but uh, it seems to run here. Wind speed is uh, decreasing from my standpoint. Course is okay, so I have a little nap. There are dolphins here, they got me awake. <laughs> I don't think there's any chance to sleep. Yeah, it's very rough outside. I need to watch it here and if something's going wrong I need to be on standby. 
Okay, we have about uh, nine nautic miles to our waypoint uh, one. At the moment, uh, boat speed 6.1 uh, knots, speed over ground 5.8, course 205 degrees, and wind 27 knots. Yeah. 28, 29, 30 knots. Why not? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Problem is you don't see what's uh, going on outside. You just uh, feel it. We have Costa da Morte at uh, port side, and uh, sailing in a depth of I think 800, 900 meters under the keel. So this was the area where it was a little bit uh, rougher uh, before, but uh, for the last hour it was, was good. So we're now on that course and, and sail along those depth lines, so pretty good. So we're also a little bit away from the traffic separation zone. And we can also see it here, where all the other ships are. So we're not crossing any ship lines and keep uh, well away, that's good. So the wind, yeah, unchanged. So it uh, is around uh, 24 knots on average. Goes up to 30 sometimes. It's now half past one and for the last hour it was uh, pretty good. Normal conditions, uh, not too rough. So I think I can go to bed now and catch some sleep. Good morning. Yeah, the Spanish coast is here at side. The night was uh, not too bad, so the, the wind actually calmed down sometimes in the morning. I didn't catch that, so I don't know when that uh, happened. So, uh, actually we had a very good mileage yesterday. We did uh, 145 nautic miles and uh, only 90 nautic miles away from the river mouse Biodubo. So we need to see what uh, what we do. So actually, if we travel with five knots, then it would be 18 hours. That means we would be there around about 4 a.m. in the morning. The high tide is one hour before the sunrise, and it has been uh, recommended by the cruising guide that we should not uh, go in there in the darkness. But I, I cannot believe that the river mouse and uh, the fairway is uh, fully packed with uh, small fisher boats. I think it might be later on. So we need to see. We might uh, go into the river. We can decide uh, tomorrow. Yeah, last night was getting that uh, rough, and afterwards it was uh, much better. So when we traveled uh, uh, parallel to those uh, depth lines, kept in the deep water, it was uh, quite good. During the night we have two or three bigger waves which uh, uh, came uh, overboard and uh, hit us uh, heavily, but uh, that was the only thing apart from that it was, uh, was uh, pretty good. It also was not too bad, I haven't slept very well. I'm, 
I'm very tired this morning. And I will try to catch some sleep during the day. But a beautiful morning. Oh, very good. The sun is out. We will see, but uh, the coffee helps extremely this morning. <laughs> It's about four o'clock in the morning. We are approaching Rio Duero and have about four and a half to five nautic miles. Yeah, we have, we have decided to go a little bit earlier into the river and not uh, wait until the afternoon because uh, conditions are pretty good at the moment. So we have no wind. We are moving towards high tide. So the currents shouldn't be too bad. And all those risk factors described in the cruising guide do not apply. Yes, we shouldn't shouldn't go in during the night, so it was uh, clearly advised. And I also checked uh, via the internet uh, on another page. No, no, all good. Checked on another page and they also said it's uh, quite tricky to get in and uh, usually marineros pick up the yachts from the river and take them to the marina. But we start a careful attempt with safe speed and then if it doesn't work, we can always return and uh, wait until the afternoon. We will see. Yeah, quite exciting here. I hope everything goes well. So I switched the radar on, quite helpful. This little dot over here. That's this uh, fishing vessel at port side. So quite good uh, visible. It's helpful. So I also took up the iPad and mirrored uh, chart plotter downstairs and put the radar picture on. And here on the plotter I have the chart. It looks pretty good at the moment. In the middle of the fairway. The radar picture also alright. That's the first green boy. Well, it looks quite nice. Here's the entrance to the marina. 6.2 meters depth. So I think we go here to the outside ponton. It might be the easiest. And then get a proper burst tomorrow. How oh, we go here? That's even better. I think we use that ponton. Of course, the way to the harbor office is uh, a little bit shorter. Everything has gone extremely well. We made it. We moored here in the Marina Douro in Porto. I'm so glad that we made the decision. I can't speak that loud because I think everyone is sleeping uh, on the boat. So I uh, just want to have a Mooring beer. Need to figure out the mileage, but I think it must be 760 or 770 miles. 100 miles. Wow. Later more.
bomb the air. Yeah, it's my second day now. I'm still a little bit tired. I think it takes a few more days until I'm completely adjusted back. But it was uh, such a nice cruise. I really enjoyed it with all the dolphins and uh, especially my morning coffee when I sat here in the cockpit and uh, could look uh, on the open sea. It, it was it was so great. And all the rest was uh, was fine as well. Wasn't too bad. Yes, we had the rough sea uh, north west of Costa da Morte, which was a little bit uh, unexpected, but uh, apart from that, everything was uh, was great. And now I'm looking forward to see Anka again. We haven't seen us for more than three and a half weeks. And we stay a few days here in Porto, we'll enjoy Porto. And then we are going to cruise down to Lisbon. And I'm really looking forward to that as well. And that will be with a lot of stops, no overnight sailing and fairly relaxed. See you.